Hey, what's going on, y'all? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka, for those of you who are new to my channel, okay? So to all of my OGs, what's up? All right, so y'all know how we go over here, but I'm gonna have to break down my disclaimer for those of you in the back who may not get it. Now, everyone is on a different stage of their twin flame journey, okay? I'm here to help you evolve. My goal is to help pull you to your higher self to help you to pull closer to the divine and your soul's evolution because this is what this journey is all about boom it's about your self-love all right it's about you feeling more empowered you working in your life purpose and you releasing what no longer serves you so that you can be the best goddamn light worker that you could possibly be okay and don't forget operating in your most authentic self okay but this is what this twin flame journey does it literally pulls you closer to the divine right Everything that you've been experiencing is literally teaching you, okay? So try to see this from a different perspective. I do feel like you guys are elevating the particular twins that I am talking to now. Yeah, you guys are integrating um, your divine feminine and divine masculine energies, okay? You're learning how to balance those energies within yourself. And um, definitely these cycles that we just been through, like we literally just closed out one of the hardest cycles ever. I feel like it was for me, most definitely. Okay. So I don't know about y'all, but everybody that's been on my timeline, we've been over in this night. We need to have a party. We need to meet up. Okay. That's how tough it was. All right. But we learned some very valuable lessons. Okay. However, if you've been watching me, you already know how I feel about the journey. Like, a lot of uh, readers may focus on divine masculine and you guys getting back together and in the relationship aspect of it. I'm more focusing on that relationship with self because, again, this is what this journey is about. But of course, your divine masculine plays a major role because everything that you do for your soul, they in turn are doing the same thing because they are you. OK, <laughs> you guys share the same soul. It's just you outside of yourself is the representation of your person here. OK. So that's why it's important that you stay in alignment, 222 on my timer. You stay energetically aligned on this journey, balancing the masculine and feminine energies, okay? The connection does not work unless y'all balance. So just remember, divine them. if your scales is tip, your masculine scales is tip, and then end up having this run and chase a dynamic, right? So you got to be able to find out what is your triggers what are your extremes and balance those okay now um i want to jump right into the reading i got three cards already laid i had to stop because i had caught a complete blank right in the middle of my talking and i just could not pull the information out y'all so i just was like Ugh, let me just start all over right now i i did buy a lapel mic you may hear my son in the background making a bunch of that damn noise okay hopefully you don't <laughs> For those of you who watch me all the time, y'all already know how this roll, right? We've been we've been at this for about two, three years now, right? Now, don't forget to hit the like button, y'all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides. Protect us as we go through these portals. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine will. Thank you for using me as the messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly. I thank you that my true guides are here with me. No imposters, please. Thank you for using me as the messenger. Protect my throat chakra and my energy, my channel, and my collective viewing in. And so it is. Hold on one second. I feel like one of these incense is burning up the wrong way. All right, my bad, y'all. So, yeah, with this king energy coming through, this divine masculine energy all day. And what I feel like here, because that's almost like that emperor energy, is that not only you are embodying this masculine energy, I uh, well, balancing it. Your person is operating in all four kings. Like for, on this card, I see the four pinnacles. I see the four cups. I see the, um, I said the four cups, four pinnacles. What the hell I'm talking about, y'all? I see the king of wands, the king of cups, the king of pinnacles, and the king of swords. Okay, coming through off the back. Um, yeah, this is a person here. When I see his face, it's like determined, very clear about their vision, very passionate, okay, as well. Now, when I read it from the book, all right, what I see here, it says, when the king appears, it indicates your reverence for higher wisdom that is found within. You are aligning with your truth. 
while balancing your emotions. This step gives you confidence to show up in life, demonstrating both strength and emotional stability because you have learned how to get out of your own way and rise above karmic limitations. This card suggests that you create space for your divine masculine partnership by taking personal responsibility and ownership of your destiny. Now is the time to fulfill your greatest potential. If you want your divine masculine to show up and speak up for you, then you need to become the supportive partner that you desire. All right, so you want to mirror back to your person love, the highest frequency of all, right? When you're mirroring back a negative emotion, whether it's resentment, whether it's regret, whether it's abandonment, whether it's rejection, whether it's whatever you may feel about your person, that's what they're going to mirror back to you. But if you mirror back to them that feeling of, how can I, how can I say it? It's like this feeling is just, is, it's so weird, right? Because I feel like I'm at that point now where I feel absolutely wonderful on the inside. Like I feel really good. I feel really confident that the worst is behind me. I feel really good about the path that's ahead of me. I feel really good about my now. So because I feel really good and I do definitely feel like I'm operating in my Empress energy, I am mirroring this energy back off into my divine counterpart, okay? And in turn, I can see the difference in him and in the connection, right? It's like once you start to be able to put the ego to the side and you start to be able to learn how to tell your subconscious mind to be like, you know what, let me love on you for a second because you look like you need attention and then I'm going to release you, okay, so that I can begin to continue to move forward here with my life, right, in my journey. I feel like here that I am definitely beginning to connect with divine feminines who are now learning how to balance that masculine and feminine energy, learning how to face whatever it is that's emasculating them within the connection or making them feel less, less than, right? Not enough. Okay. Now, um, yeah. So you want to be able to do that. You want to be able to push that type of energy off onto the person because in turn, and I, I just felt like really dizzy. I don't know what that was, but in turn, okay, this is what you're going to see project it back to you. Focus on letting go of any residual need to control this situation or outcome 333 three, three on a timer. Practice habits that demonstrate your trust in yourself. Because <sighs> that's what I'm saying. The big look, this journey is about your self-love. Like this is the biggest thing ever. You operating in your authentic self. You speaking your absolute truth, expressing yourself, trusting yourself believing in yourself, having confidence in the journey itself and in your ability to be able to lead and manifest this life that you've been desiring for yourself for so long, okay? It says, this empowers the divine masculine and your twin flame dy dynamic so they can find the courage to take action and support you in the process, helping you both build inner confidence as you go forward, okay? So if you are deaf, I feel like this is for my twins who are in communication, who are um, definitely um, in some type of physical connection, okay? Whether it's, if it's just friends, whether, you know, and it's, it's, if it's intimate friendship, but no real relationship, whatever, you could be in a relationship with this person full 44 on the timer. But however, I do feel like here, if you're not at this point, if you follow the instructions that are being given to you, those divinely guided ideas, you will get to this point. Once you learn how to release the control and to learn how to allow the divine to continue to um, take over, which is also about you surrendering to your higher self as well so that you can begin to elevate. So <laughs> it's so much I can say. I can go so deep within this, but of course, these are just 10-minute TikTok videos. And of course, I'm going to have to go to a part two because I'm almost at my time limit. So stay tuned for part two. If you want to hear extended readings, again, go to my YouTube. No interruptions. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'll see you soon. Peace.